In the last video, we found the expected value of this expression, which was equal to np. Now we want to find the variance. So the variance of a random variable, this is just equal to the expected value of the random variable squared minus the, expe the expected value and then squared. Now we know that this is equal to np, so this term here is just n squared p squared. So all we have to do is to evaluate the expected value of x squared. So the expected value of x squared by first principles, this is just equal to this expression here. So we have k squared multiplied by the corresponding probability for x for each value of k. So we have this expression over here. Now I'm going to do some rearranging. Instead of k squared, I'm going to write this as k and then put a bracket over here and then multiply this by k. So this is just the same thing, just did a bit of rearranging. And the reason why I did this is because this expression here is the exact same expression we worked with in the last video when we were looking for the expected value of x. And then recall from the last video what we did was we shifted down everything by one step. So k uh, in the summation, we shifted everything down by one step and then we arrived at an alternative expression that was easy to evaluate. So uh, using the same method in the last video, what we did was we pulled out np and then we had this expression over here. So for this entire term, we had n minus 1 ck p to the power of k 1 minus p n minus 1 minus k. So this is the term that we had in the last video. But then what's different in this video is that we also have an extra k over here outside. And so also because we shifted down by one step in our summation, we also need to compensate this by adding back 1. So because this starts from k equal to 1, actually, because when k is equal to 0, this whole term is equal to 0, it starts with k equal to 1. So this k should start with 1. And now you can see that since our summation starts with 0, this term should remain uh, as 1 when we start our summation. So we need to add back 1 to this term. Now starting from this term, we can easily evaluate the rest of this term over here. So we can do this by breaking up the brackets over here first. Let's just distribute the k plus 1 to this entire term. So first we have k times this term over here. And then we also have another term, so plus 1. And then if you'll notice that the entire term that we have inside this bracket over here, this is just the probability of x taking on each value of k for the binomial distribution with n minus 1 trials. So this is just the probability of that. So what this means is that for this expression over here, this is the probability and this is k. So this is just the expected value of the binomial distribution when there are n minus 1 trials. And we know that the expected value is just equal to n minus 1 times p. So it's this term multiplied by this term. And then over here, this is just the sum of all the, all the probabilities. And if you sum all the probabilities, you just get back 1. And so this is what we have. And so moving back over here, we know the expected value of x squared is just equal to np times n minus 1 p plus 1 minus n squared p squared. And so breaking apart these brackets here, we have n squared p squared minus n p squared plus n p, and then we also have minus n squared p squared. These cancel out, and then in the end we have n p minus n p squared, or in its commonly presented form, we have n p times 1 minus p. And so this is the variance of the binomial distribution.